retail thefts and burglaries has being is being blamed on migrants. That includes two separate incidents in the same day at a Macy's in Oak Brook, Illinois, where migrants tried to steal more than ten thousand dollars worth of merchandise. Brian Strokas is the chief of police in Oak Brook, Illinois, and joins us now. Chief, thank you very much for your time. We know we know you're very busy there and have a lot on your plate. First. Can you just tell our viewers what is it that you're seeing on the ground there, knowing this is a suburb just outside Chicago where we know Chicago residents have been dealing with this migrant crisis for quite some time? Sure. Thanks for having me, Sandra. And uh, first, I just want to say we're home to the second largest shopping center in Illinois. Oak Brook is a very safe community, and unlike other areas in the country like Chicago, our shopping center is 100% occupied. There's no vacancies and retailers are coming out to us uh, in part because we're proactive in our policing activities. Um, that being said, we have had, my original number was, was going to be 57 migrant arrests since uh, October 23rd of 23, but actually I was notified right before coming on here that my undercover officers have two Venezuelan immigrants in custody uh, for retail theft burglary from our shopping center currently that are on their way to the station as we speak. So this isn't like a one-off or it's happened a couple times. This is really a trend. I mean, you're reporting two Chilean, four Venezuelan migrants arrested in connection with these retail thefts, and now you know of more? Yeah, 59 total um, since, since, like I said, October 23rd of last year. So it's a it's a problem for my community. Uh, our police department's responding accordingly. We're shifting our resources to our retail areas to make sure those areas are, are well protected. Um, but it's definitely a problem uh, that extends beyond the borders of Chicago. Um, as I was telling you in the commercial break, I grew up in the area, I grew up in Wheaton. We just had a councilman on from Naperville, Illinois, uh, who sort of... In, he, deadpan delivery suggested to his fellow Democrats that they should open their big homes there to these migrants to deal with the crisis. He's taking a lot of flack for that. Um, but it seems to me that people all over the Chicago area now, outside of the city, are dealing with this and trying to figure out what to do. What sort of numbers are you seeing as far as migrants sort of sprawling outside of the city lines into the suburbs? Um, well, I think 59 arrests in uh, three months is substantial. I also think that the real story is, you know, in Illinois here, we, we enacted a no-cash bail policy that went in full effect in September. I think the real story is how many of these arrestees, these illegal migrants that are committing these crimes that are then getting released from jail, how many are going to actually show up in, t in court and see the case through disposition? Uh, that'll be interesting to see, and time will tell. Well, as you said, um, this number of arrests in this few months, this is significant, and it's something we are going to continue to keep our eye on as well. Chief, we've got some breaking news, and we appreciate you joining us on that. We will check back in with you on that.